Giant sequoia trees generally grow in California, but for the past 73 years, three sequoias have survived and thrived in Manistee, Michigan. That's not supposed to happen. The tree's genetics are an obsession for a northern Michigan man who believes the DNA is the solution to reversing climate change. Thirsty on Your Side recently became the first television station allowed inside the laboratory that's saving the planet. Planted in 1948. For 70 years, it's lived and thrived on a high bank property overlooking Lake Michigan in the wind. Instead of dying, it's done this. The answer is in its genetics. Five foot in diameter, over 110 feet tall. Giant sequoia normally don't grow in cold climates. Still growing, by the way. It shouldn't be, but it is. This monster in Manistee may be much more. It might be the most important giant sequoia on the planet. Nearby. The whole world is on fire. In the community of Kopmish. Epic sea level rise from the glaciers melting. Sits David Millark's. It's the only place in the world. Magic forest. We know of. Archangel Ancient Tree Archive. And what we were told that was impossible to do 10 years ago, well, that's not true. There's 70 different trees all that are one to 2,000 years old. That makes no sense. We're cloning them. Your what? We studied and searched the 500 mile natural range for redwoods in California, from the Oregon-California border down to Big Sur, and we found 70 of the biggest, largest, oldest living redwoods on Earth. This tree right here is one of those trees, and it's from a 2,500 year old living redwood. So this is a 2,500 year old living redwood, but the clock has been set back to zero. So you're doing tree time travel? The magic and miracles of micropropagation. This is four 3,000 year old giant sequoias in agar. Then in two months, we'll form a root and grow to fill this jar. So we can reproduce 3,000 year old giant sequoias and coast redwoods. In two months, we can take these four out, cut them to eighth inch long pieces and make we can square the number. In two years, we can make two million copies of 3,000-year-old giant sequoias or redwoods. Used to hopefully reforest the planet. And why is that important? Climate change. If we don't go after climate change, all of us, right now, there's chances that are good within 50 years the planet will not be inhabitable for human beings. These trees are vital. We've cut down 98% of our old growth forests here in the United States. They soak up CO2. We didn't even study them to figure out what they did for human and all life before we cut them down. Make oxygen. Exactly what the planet needs. 10 times faster than the trees currently making up our forests. We can reverse climate change to a 1968 carbon level if we reforest this planet within the next 20 years. That's why we're doing this. Pretty cool, huh? Back in Manistee. It's a very bright ray of hope. David will continue to harvest DNA from this ancient anomaly. So if you plant one of these, you're paying it forward environmentally for two to 3,000 years or longer. Cloning millions more. They could be a part of the solution. He believes this one tree is the key. We need to reforest this planet, every single person, right now. Every man, woman, and child, right now, start to reforest the planet, or our chances for our great-grandchildren living on this planet don't look good. Archangel's trees have been shipped to many areas throughout the United States as well as countries around the world, including Australia, France, England, and that is just naming a few. So far, every cloned tree is thriving, including in cold weather. If you're interested in learning more about the project or perhaps donate to help the cause, we have links available in the web version of this story that's published right now at 13 yourside.com.